you identify all 23 correctly, you'll be safe. You'll probably get a reputation of being some sort of tasting freak. But that's going to be a um, particularly difficult task today. Because this is a blind oh. taste test. It suddenly becomes a lot harder. I suddenly realise that this is going to be quite the challenge. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, George, what's the matter? Oh, I just feel so sick. I definitely think Georgia feels that she let the team down, you know, being captain yesterday, and I think she feels a lot of responsibility losing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm worried for Georgia. I think her mind's a bit all over the place, so, yeah, it's not going really well for her right now. Use your knowledge. Use what you've seen. Take a few punts. Yeah. And nothing to lose. Keep writing yeah. it down, because what <laughs> oh, you get God. right, yeah. you get to cook with. Oh. Blindfolds on, please. Oh. Feels like I'm going to be executed. <laughs> Blindfolds are on and my stomach is in my throat. At least the food doesn't have a long way to go. There's 23 ingredients in this dish and I need to identify at least eight to be able to create something relatively decent in the next round. You have three minutes to taste and feel and identify as many ingredients as you can and then two minutes to write them down. We're going to lift those cloches now. Off you go. I'm nervous. Um, I just get my hands right into it. I need to start tasting things. I need to get things into my mouth as quickly as possible. She's feeling it, just deciding what it is and then putting it in her mouth. Oh, she'll find the herbs that way, which is great. I don't like hot chilies because I can't handle the heat. That's the first thing that I get after the first mouthful. I get jalapeno. <laughs> Tasted a prawn. Tasted chicken. There's okra in there. It's soupy. This is gumbo. Sean was basically in his food. He had his face almost in it. It was kind of gross to watch, it was, but I found it, for some reason, really funny. <laughs> it tastes great. I'm feeling quite confident at this stage. You know, I've found there's definitely prawn, there's definitely tomato, and there's definitely parsley. I can make a dish with that. You have one minute to go. Oh, my God, what is this? I have no idea what the dish is, and... I'm really worried that I'm not going to get enough ingredients that I could work with. It's just hand, mouth, hand, mouth, hand, mouth in this situation. Difficulty is, yes, taste and identify, but then you've got to register all those things, not forget them, because they've got to write them down later. A little bit of a mind blank, and I'm feeling pretty frantic. I've got to get my nerves under control. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Sit up, hands down. Time's up. I just need to start writing. I know I get really distracted really easily. I just need to get the things down as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. You have two minutes to write down as many ingredients as you can. Blindfolds off, start writing. I honestly felt like I was in an exam at school. I knew the answers. I was just so bad at concentrating on putting them down. I'm pretty sure that it was gumbo, but I'd never made gumbo before in my life. You have 10 seconds left. I'm feeling really stressed and my mind just blanks. I can't even think of anything to guess. So I'm definitely scared that I'm not going to have any ingredients to work with today. Three, two, one. Hands down, close your books. Well, we've tallied up your answers, but before we reveal who's done best, who maybe hasn't done quite as well, who reckons they know what this dish is? 
Colin? I think it's gumbo. Absolutely. Louisiana gumbo. The classic of the American South. I actually haven't eaten gumbo before. I'm really nervous about getting, getting these ingredients right. First one, everybody got. Chili, jalapeno. The next ingredient, everybody got right too, which was? Salt. Next one, prawns. Prawns, tick. I didn't put that down. <laughs> so, Georgia, what happened there? I just, maybe I missed it in the bowl or maybe I ate it and just didn't taste it, but yeah. Next one. Onions. Thyme. Tomatoes. Celery. Chicken. I got chicken. Huge relief for me. I should be okay. This next ingredient, six of you got it correct. Chicken stock. Garlic, parsley, bay leaf. Mm. Next one, a gumbo staple, okra. I can live without okra. Anyway, it sounds like orca, the whale. That's Next ingredient, oysters. Oh, yeah, oysters, yeah. Kransky, sausage, flour. Good staple to have on your bench, eh? Spring onions. Next ingredient is oil. Sean, Tash, you're the only two people that have oil to cook with. It's really going to be a challenge cooking without oil today. I need to come up with another way to get oil into my dish. Bacon. Only one person got this. Butter. Who got this right? I did. Colin. That's a huge advantage for me. I'm going to make that butter work every step of the way. These last three ingredients no one got correct. Capsicum. Filet powder. So I've got a tea like flavour. And the final ingredient Tabasco. I am kicking myself that I didn't get chicken, bacon. I, I know I'm at the bottom end. Remember, every ingredient you guess correctly, you'll be able to cook with in the second round. So, Amy, you got 15 correct. <laughs> I feel good. God, I've impressed myself. <laughs> A little pod, three of you got 13 ingredients right. Kira, Sean, and Tash. Well done. Rachel, Georgia, you got 11 ingredients correct. I'm quite happy that I chose 11 ingredients because I was a bit worried about the whole taste test thing, so maybe today I'm going to be safe. Colin, you got 10 ingredients right. Brent, nine ingredients. And Sam, I'm sorry to say, you got the least on seven. At this point, I'm, I'm pretty nervous about going into the second round. 